Hey everyone, Brian from Corsair here, and building a gaming PC nowadays is easier than ever. I'm going to show you some tips for when you're working on your next gaming rig. First, you'll want to install some of the more delicate parts on your motherboard. We'll start by installing our processor. And throw in any of our M.2 drives. RAM is pretty easy. Just line up the notch in the modules with the notch on the motherboard RAM slots and push them into place. They'll often click when installed correctly. Make sure you check your motherboard manual to ensure you install your memory in the correct slots for your memory configuration. We'll also prep our case by installing the I.O. shield. Ours is already integrated. Then pre-route some of our cables like our front I.O. depending on where it's on the motherboard. Next, we'll be installing our motherboard, lining up the holes with the pre-installed motherboard standoffs, and checking to make sure our rear I.O. matches with the cutouts on our I.O. shield. Now, we'll plug in some of our PSU cables on the motherboard and route them through grommets and cutouts to the back of the case. We'll now throw the radiator for our CPU cooler in, and we'll mount the block to our CPU. Our coolers have fresh thermal paste pre-applied from the factory, but if you're reusing a cooler or you want to throw on your own thermal paste, make sure you clean the cold plate on your cooler as well as your processor with some isopropyl alcohol before applying new paste. With most of our core components in place, let's make sure everything is plugged into our motherboard. Starting with our front I.O. cables and our USB cables. You'll also want to plug in any fans or pumps that aren't going to be connected to a dedicated fan controller at this point. Speaking of fan controllers, our Commander Pro handles both fan control, system lighting, and gives us a nifty USB hub for our internal devices. We'll plug in our fans first, then any compatible lighting devices, and finally our USB devices. With all the little bits and bobs out of the way, we can install our graphics card. Usually, this will go into the closest full-sized PCI Express slot to our CPU socket on our motherboard. We should also take this opportunity to install additional expansion cards like this Elgato 4K60 Pro capture card. We've been doing a lot of plugging things in. Now, we just need to plug our power cables into our power supply and install our power supply in our case. We saved our power supply for near the end of our build to make it easier to work around our case. With our power supply finally installed, we have arrived at the fun part, cable management. Thankfully, our modular power supply has helped to reduce the bulk of our cables we needed to power everything. But we still want to make this presentable, so I'm going to grab some zip ties and see if I can wrangle some of this rat's nest. If we did this right, the cables should be out of the way so they're not super visible from the motherboard side of our system. And we should be able to quickly identify which bundle of cables is which in case we need to get at something for a later upgrade. Now that your system is assembled, it's ready for an OS, drivers, software, and most importantly, your games. For more information about the hardware we used in this video, check out the description below, or go visit Coursera.com for our entire product lineup for your next PC build. Good luck, have fun.